Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. How are you today? Well, as human persons, we need to have coping mechanisms. Coping mechanisms against the stress, against the anxiety, and against the depression. In my case, I always suffer anxiety. These unusual worries that will really control my emotions that would affect my daily activities. But I have tried coping it by doing the routines that I really like to do, like the pruning of these plants, these flowers, looking at your garden. and feeding our fish and discovering what particular methods are good for the expansion of the farm. These are the things that keep my mind busy. And this is very important because this is one of the things that will heal us from anxiety, depression, and this worry that if it's untreated, it will develop to a serious problem. So this is actually my experience and Maybe some of you can relate what I'm talking about, especially that all of us here are animal lovers and fish lovers. This life is a constant change. We cannot fix and make things permanent in our lives. There are always changes that would occur in order for us to develop and to prosper. That's why we always have to be fruitful and discover our talents and skills and abilities in order to further ourselves, in order to become successful. And as you can see here, we again have developed a very innovative concrete tank for our fish. As you know, we have hatched this thousands of this fry of koi, this goldfish, and they are increasingly growing. We tried our best to grow them in the mud pan, but this flood came, disturbed us, devastated our farm. So we have to innovate and we have to adapt new system. And somebody have told me about this rust system or this circular tank under the recirculating aquaculture system. And what we're gonna do here is to load some 5,000 fry of this Japanese koi and we will observe the development and growth of this uh, fish. And I'm so confident that with this new technique that we are going to adopt, we will prosper all the more. There's no problem anymore about breeding or hatching the eggs of this goldfish and whatever fish, you name it. But the only problem is our growing tank, the place where they're gonna grow quickly and safely. I said safely because there are instances that I experience fish kill because of lack of oxygen or the hefty increase of the ammonia in the water. So these are the things that we have to bear in mind and put precautions with. So I'm so excited to dismantle the frame and as you know, our staff had been busy, you know, constructing this circular pond for us to immediately put in here our fish. And we are now on the 90% completion because these are already 
filled up with cement. I'm very excited to make a vlog about the completion of this circular tank because the bottom of this is a funnel-like shape to be able to gather or collect the dirt inside the pond and we can just easily open the drain pipe and flush out the dirt that are actually very toxic to our fish and I'm so excited about this I think we will no longer be needing the filtration system others would still use the filtration buckets but we have to make a study because constant draining of the dirt will avert the presence of the ammonia and that's the only problem inside the tank using the same old water or by just you know adding some new water will enable us to develop good bacteria since we started this fish farming we don't have problem about the live food and this is the dilemma of the people in the other countries especially in Europe and in Canada in America they're asking where can we look for this live food this dapnia that you're talking about the only thing that I can mention is the artemia because these brine streams are actually good for the fry but we have another brand which is the aqua beauty uh, brand for the fry and this is ready to use you can just feed this immediately only that you have to refrigerate in order to preserve the eggs of the shrimps and this is effective i am not actually an endorser of this product but i have to tell you that this product is good i have tried myself and in fact i made a study on this the fry of our guppies and even the betas and this very little fry of the koi are actually eating this and they're not dying so this is good and i can recommend this for your use especially if you don't have dapnias in your area so you look at here we are putting this in the tank of our goldfish fry and you will see that they will eat this one and they will consume this very quickly it's just like dapnias if you don't intend to use this for a long time then you can put this inside in the freezer but if you're using it daily then you can just you know put this in the vegetable area inside your rep and this product is a breakthrough to all those farmers who really have problem on how to grow their fry because to tell you honestly if you just feed your fry with powdered pellet it will not grow as fast as giving them directly the live food the dapnias the larvae of the mosquitoes and this aqua beauty thing so i'm recommending this thing you can just order this online and shout out to Fate Lagos for introducing to us this product. Our effort to breed our guppies, especially this AFR or this albino full red guppies that are really very difficult to raise because they're baby eaters. Last time we made mention about putting them in the styro box and the importance of putting up a, a trap for the parents in order for us to save the babies because they're baby eaters 
and it works good and well for us only that we were disturbed by another factor which is the presence of this nymph this butterfly larvae that are eating the baby guppies and I again as what I have said we have to make some innovations we have to make some adjustments so I finally now have found a place for them and I'm using my big aquarium and you see that I trapped all the parents that are here I put of course I put some aquatic plants in order for the mamas to hide from the pursuing you know male guppies so this is also very important inside in this container and as you can see here there are so many babies now that are freely swimming and I'm so happy about this because this will help other viewers and other followers to also do the same I'm sharing my experiences not to brag about this but to help other people who find joy and peace in fish farming So this is all that we can share. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And I will invite you to please subscribe to this channel. If you would like to learn about many things in farming, then this is a channel for you. And please subscribe because we are uploading videos every two days now. Shout out to our new members of the channel, to our followers and viewers. Thanks a lot. And see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World.